Hi, it's Julius from Pix4D Agriculture. Today, I'm going to guide you through a hands-on demonstration of targeted operations in Pix4D fields. We will explore a seamless offline workflow that turns high-definition drone imagery into prescription maps for spray drones and tractors, all at the edge of your field. Targeted operation integrates our most powerful features, such as rapid processing, vegetation index analyzers, RTK field boundaries and AI-based weed detection via the MAGIC tool. It's tailored to address precision application scenarios like spot spraying weeds or applying variable rate fertilization. In this workflow, you will see how also and index layers, precise field boundaries, obstacle markers and MAGIC tool classifications can all be combined to create a fully customizable operations layer. This versatile workflow adapts to the specific needs of your equipment, supporting DGI and XAG spray drones, specific formats like RD GeoSelect, and a wide array of tractor terminals like the John Deere GreenStar displays. And we are planning to accommodate even more formats down the line. I'm going to guide you through the process of creating a targeted operations mission for your machines in just four simple steps. First, we will create RTK boundaries and obstacles. Then, we will identify our treatment areas with the aid of the MAGIC tool and use that information to set up an operations layer. Finally, I will walk you through the various export options. If that sounds good to you, let's get started. Let me share a real-life example with you. We had a cattle pasture that was over one with thorny blackberry shrubs which was not only degrading the quality of grazing, but also causing harm to the animals. It was evident that the area needed treatment. Given the challenging terrain conditions, we choose a spray drone as the most effective tool, with the goal of applying herbicide only where it was needed. We began by mapping and documenting the ground conditions with Pix4D fields. Next, we digitized the fence line of the paddock to create our field boundary, which also served as a geofence for the spray drone. With the boundary tools, you can easily trace the outline of the pasture to create a highly precise field boundary, especially if the dataset was collected with RTK enabled. In addition, this field contains numerous obstacles, such as overhanging and freestanding trees. We will digitize these using the obstacle class in the boundary mode. By clicking on the plus icon, you can add multiple obstacles to the same class, which simplifies their management. With our boundary and obstacles now in place, let's trim our awesome mosaic to align exactly with the outline of our paddock. Doing this will enable faster processing in the subsequent steps. With our boundaries established, we can begin using the magic tool, selecting our trimmed awesome mosaic layer for this process. We need to select an appropriate grid size. And then we can start the magic. At this point, we mark the blackberry shrubs with positive labels and everything else with negative labels. This way, we ultimately have a selection of only the blackberries that we intended to treat. The spacebar shortcut proves handy for hiding the grid, enabling you to better assess the quality of the classification. Finally, we make manual adjustments to the map, removing some unwanted areas and adding other zones that we also want to treat using the brush and eraser tools.
The outcome is an annotated map, indicating all the treatment areas on our chosen also mosaic layer. Now, we select the operations tool from the left sidebar to set up our operations layer. The first step in the operations tool asks us to select a mandatory field boundary and optional obstacles. We will choose the ones we created earlier. Next, we decide whether we want to start with an empty operations layer where we can manually draw our treatment zones or use an existing set of annotations to pre-fill our application grid. Since we just created our BlackBerry annotations with the magic tool, we opt for Use Existing Annotations. In the following menu, we simply select the annotation we need. In our case, it's a BlackBerry one. We will select liters per hectare as our prescription unit. If you prefer, you can switch to Imperial units in the settings menu of the PIX40 Fields dashboard. Finally, we need to decide on the grid size of our application, which should be selected based on our implements section width. The preview function allows you to see how it will look on the operations layer before you confirm. Once the layer is created, we can access various editing tools from the menu in the middle of the screen, such as the transparency slider. New weight zones can also be selected and created here. Application weights can be assigned in the right sidebar, where you also find useful statistics about your treatment, like the applied area, needed input amounts and so on. The brush tool allows you to draw new application zones on your map and you can adjust the brush size with the slider at the top of the middle menu. The transparency tool is useful when you need to draw new zones as it helps you to see exactly where you need to draw. The float fill tool lets you fill larger areas at once with the selected way. You can also change the color of the grid if you wish. Now we are all set and ready to get the map to our spray drone. Via the export menu in the top right, we select the operations option. Here we can choose from our available operations layers, selecting the one we want to export and the necessary export format based on our target equipment. We currently support DJI Aguas and XAG spray drones, Hardy GeoSelect and a wide range of shapefile compatible tractor terminals. For this demo, we are going to export to a DJI Aguas spray drone as a variable weight mission. Optionally, we can define the flight height and spray width. A final summary is presented before the export, so we can check if everything is correct. PIX4D fields creates the necessary folder structure for the DGI Aguas. All you need to do is copy the DGI folder and its contents to your drone's SD card for import. On your DJI Aguas remote controller, you first need to import the boundary shapefile and then the RX prescription file. Next, you need to select hectares as a default unit, even if you plant your map in Imperial units. The resample width option adjusts how the drone will process multiple grid cells covered by its spray nozzle. It can either take the maximum value of the covered grid cells or calculate the average value. For spot spraying, like in our case, select max value. When loading the mission, select the field with the boundary first and afterward load the imported prescription file. I also want to show you how you can export your operation to a tractor terminal via the tractor sprayer option in the operations export. 
You can choose if you want to create a zero weight zone if your terminal requires that. You can also change the resolution of your operations layer before exporting. Pix4D Fields creates an RX folder with a prescription map and a boundary folder with the field boundary. And here is the result after the successful spot application with Pix4D Fields. A clean and safe pasture for our cattle. I have really enjoyed walking you through this exciting application of precision agriculture. And I can't wait to see how you will apply this technology. To summarize, Targeted Operations is compatible with DJI Aguas and XAG spray drones, tractors and field sprayers. It provides safe and efficient flight paths for your drones, thanks to precise field boundaries and obstacles. Moreover, it increases your return on investment, as you save on inputs with targeted applications instead of flat area applications. And that's all for today. See you in the next video.